Currently, there are thousands of single studies on promoting healthy eating. These single studies are designed to evaluate the effectiveness of interventions, but each study can only examine a small portion of the population at a time. Suppose we have 1,000 children who receive oral hygiene education for preventing dental caries and another 1,000 children who do not. Among those exposed to the education, 25 get dental caries and 975 do not. Let's say 300 seniors are randomly allocated to an intervention group and another 300 to a control group which receives no intervention. 90 seniors in the control group experience a fracture. In the past, literature reviews were considered standard practice for summarizing multiple studies. This approach is like someone opening a file on their computer where they save research studies, picking their favorites, and then summarizing the results. Let's say we have 100 adolescents exposed to a community-based intervention to promote physical activity and another 100 not exposed. Among those exposed, 75 participate in physical activity for one hour each day and 25 do not. Test statistic and null hypothesis. What would happen if the definition didn't include these words? Let's try that and see what happens. So, let's say we have 100 people who had the flu shot and another 100 people who haven't. Among those who had the shot, 30 of them get the flu and 70 do not. So, in this instance, we conclude that getting the flu shot is an effective way to avoid getting the flu. One group received the intervention and the other group did not. Fruit and vegetable consumption was measured before and after the intervention and the two groups compared. Furthermore, the report also found a significant variation in the use of public transportation and that in regions in which public transit usage was higher, respiratory symptoms were lower. First, a comprehensive search to identify all relevant studies will be conducted. Once the search is completed, studies will be examined to see if they are relevant to the question. Those judged relevant will be included in the systematic review, while those judged not relevant will be excluded. The relevant studies are then assessed independently by at least two people to determine how well they were conducted, and this information is recorded in tables. <laughs>